artificial intelligence, is it this saviour that can allow us humans to put our feet up whilst everything is taken care of? Will it take our jobs or is it truly a hype that everyone will look back on and laugh that we're all talking about it in 2023? I couldn't resist myself talking about this topic. But before we crack on, hit the like and subscribe button. So today I'm going to be talking about artificial intelligence, how it works at a basic level and where it fits in when it comes to the healthcare, health tech, digital health landscape. So let's first talk about intelligence. A basic definition of intelligence is the ability to take knowledge and information process it, factor in all the other complex nuances including emotional responses and then plan and execute a piece of action. The six categories of intelligence usually involve the capability to learn, reason, solve problems, adapt, be creative and think critically. We historically have never described computers as intelligent because it simply takes an input that we have instructed it to take and give us a planned output. Say you code something to take some data points and depict it as a bar chart. It will do just that. You can't ask it to remove suspicious anomalies or to highlight them. It will simply take the numbers and give you the chart that you instructed it to do. So what is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is the ability of a machine to now simulate human intelligence. AI, just like us humans, can too take data, process it and solve problems. AI is used across various products from self-driving cars to virtual assistants to facial recognition, fraud detection, chatbots and it goes on and on and that list is growing day by day. Now they've actually been around for some time and an example that's been around for a long time and we've not hyped about it so much is machine learning. Machine learning essentially learns from data to recognize relationships and formulate predictions and decisions. That is, machine learning is a form of AI that's been around for a very, very long time. But the explosion in AI came when ChatGPT was released. This ChatGPT is based on a large language model, LLMs. LLMs are basically a huge powerful application of machine learning on a sea of data. Now the explosion that's occurred in ChatGPT and the AI scene is because ChatGPT essentially was an incredibly user friendly product at our fingertips where if we asked for it to summarize this video into five bullet points it could do it in seconds. So how does AI work? Imagine it's the first time you're playing chess. At first you're making random moves and you lose a lot but as you persist you begin to understand the rules, you learn strategies, you start to spot patterns and as a result you then begin making better predictions and decisions. AI works in a similar way, it's able to learn. The more data it's exposed to the better its performance is. Now there are two ways AI learns. Number one is supervised learning. This is where the data is already organized, labeled and categorized. So as you feed it the data, it's able to learn from the labeling that you or I have already done. Say you train it to understand what cats and dogs look like and then you could show a series of unlabeled cats and dogs and asks that it identifies them accordingly. The second type of learning is unsupervised learning. Now this is powerful. Imagine now giving it unsorted, unlabeled data that it can take, analyze and still do the same thing. Now without going into the intricacies and the science behind it, it's fundamentally based on data input. The better the data set, the better AI is able to perform. So to finish with now, where does AI fit in the healthcare, health tech, digital health industry? Number one, diagnostics. AI can analyze medical images to detect abnormalities incredibly accurately. Number two, drug discovery and development. AI can analyze huge sets of molecular and clinical data to identify potential drug candidates. Number three, personalized therapy. AI can assess genetic and clinical data to create a personalized treatment regimen. Number four, robotic assisted surgery. AI can support surgeons perform complex surgery with even greater precision and control, improving patient outcomes. 
Number five, administration, the bane of our lives as healthcare professionals. AI can take a lot of this burden away from us. I've listed five, but I could go on forever. So there you have it, an overview and a very basic one in fact, going over artificial intelligence. I hope this was useful to you, otherwise I'll see you in the next video.